The Amherst Railway Society's Railroad Hobby Show is one of the winter's must-attend events if you live in the northeast corner of the United States. Every year, the Society hosts one of the largest train shows in North America, drawing over 20,000 people to the Eastern States Exposition in West Springfield, Massachusetts. The 51st edition of the show was held on January 26th and 27th and featured no shortage of family-friendly activities. This year, one of the featured attractions was actually outside of the buildings. The Booth Bay Railway Village brought down from Maine their two-foot gauge 040T steam locomotive, SD Warren No. 2, which returned to service in September 2018 after nearly a decade of work by museum staff and volunteers. The locomotive was running back and forth on over 100 feet of temporary track and was popular with kids of all ages. Inside, however, was truly impressive. There were over 400 exhibitors spread out over 400,000 square feet of space in four buildings on site. From clothing vendors such as Mohawk Design, railroads such as the Seashore Trolley Museum, Project 3713, which had a headlight from Boston and Maine 3713, currently under restoration in Scranton, Pennsylvania. New England Steam Corporation, restoring Maine Central number 470. Conway Scenic Railroad. To groups that were a little further away, like the Steam Railroading Institute in Owasso, Michigan. And the Friends of the Cumbres and Toltec from Colorado. The Rail Explorers USA group had a rail bike on display. White River Productions had a booth for their magazines. The Pioneer Valley Live Steamers brought with them some of their small-scale locomotives for people to check out. Even Virtual Railfan got in on the act, with a small booth advertising their online railfan webcam business and filming live video for one of their sponsors. But of course, the biggest attractions of all were the model railroad groups. There were over 60 operating layouts spread throughout the four buildings on site. Many of these layouts were truly impressive. The Mohegan Pequot Model Railroad Club had a very long layout on site. And as usual, the Bachman Train's Island of Sodor layout was popular too. The Eastern New England chapter of the European train enthusiasts had a very cool set of operating displays on site. One of my personal favorites, however, was the Four County Society of Model Engineers, which featured, among other things, 
a double-headed train of Norfolk and Western articulated seamers. The Amherst Railroad Show can easily take up more than one day of your time if you want to explore and enjoy everything there is to offer here. It's definitely a show that everyone should visit at least once in their lifetimes, if nothing else to marvel at the sheer size of the event. I had a blast, and I know I'll be back again someday. Thanks for watching. Please visit BigJimVideo.com for more. You can visit my YouTube channel by clicking on the logo, or you can watch another video by clicking on the video link above.